Hey guys, it's me, it's M, Emily in LA. Welcome back to Mug Monday's News and Reviews. It's February 4th, very big day. It's two days after the Super Bowl, just saying. Um, also, he didn't see his shadow. Did he see his shadow? I totally forget. Um, the groundhog, two days ago. That's a no? That's a, it's a no? Yes, no. Yes, no, yes, no. Oh, how about that Super Bowl? Just saying. I know, lame. Something about spring being six weeks away. I don't know, ask Bill Murray. We're doing a coffee. Coffee, coffee. I have my own beans making and uh, grinding and brewing my own beans. Anyway, it's 100%. Uh, whole bean coffee, medium roast, El Salvador coffee, take a look. And I got this at Trader Joe's, so I'll put a nice uh, little link for you. Put a nice little link. Those are whole beans, and as you all know, I like to grind my own beans. This is my mug today. Insert snarky comment here. <laughs> don't judge me. Judge me. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, Trump Castle Hotel and Casino by the Bay, guys. I got this at a yard sale before he ever ran for president. They're like straight out of the 80s. It was like a quarter, maybe less. I don't know. So I am uh, going to use this awesome Bodum grinder. It's 20 bucks. You can get it at Target or um, through my online links through uh, the wonderful and amazing Amazon. So you just put it in there. I do about a half a cup of the beans. Usually just fill it to the max line. That's what you need. I like my coffee strong. If you like it a little bit weaker, do a quarter cup. You're going to put it on, and then you're just going to hold down the red button to your desired coarseness. Okay. Great. It's dragging. The cord is dragging. That's kind of what it sounds like, but it's a lot louder. You're going to grind it. I'd like to grind it about medium so it doesn't seep through your mesh on your um, French press. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. And then, of course, in my French press, I already had a cup. Sorry about it. Not really poured it in my mug and then I use this lovely dairy-free ripple vanilla it's a plant-based half and half which is super great yeah I really like this and they make uh there's a whole line of them now which is pretty great so check that out I'll put a link and then I think I've told you about the agave because I like some sugar 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 mm, 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 mm. oh honey honey mm. you are my candy girl So take a drink. This is good. It's a medium roast. I like sometimes the deeper roast. It just depends on the bean. You know, it's a it's for the medium coffee drinker. If you're just getting into the whole grind your own beans and do the French press on your own, it's a nice little starter coffee, I think. Now to the news. Do you guys feel like, do you guys feel like I clap my hands a lot? Sorry, not sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Number five. Kelsey Carter gets a face tattoo of Harry Styles. So this girl gets a face tattoo of Harry Styles on her cheek like this, super big. It goes crazy on Instagram and all that. Guess what? It's fake. Big surprise. It was a whole thing. Cause she like loves Harry Styles and so inspired by him. Just wants to work with him one day and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It works because of the news, right? So whatever. Just rubbed it off. Next. Number four. Three-year-old boy gets lost in the woods. Hung out with a bear for two days. I'm just saying that's pretty cool. They found him in like some crazy shrubbery, like really like gnarly bushes with the stickers, with the things. And he was like, yeah, just yelling for my mom out here, but it's all good. I just hung out with a bear for two days. Like you're friends with the bears? What? And the mom's like, yeah, no, no, no. Everybody calm down. He's fine. He's totally fine. He's totally fine. He asked to watch Netflix. So yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. 
how is that a sign of now someone's like mentally and emotionally and physically like, okay. We're even keel here, guys. Don't worry. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm just, no, I'm just catching up on friends from college. No, no, no. We're going to be fine. We're going to be good. Everyone calm down. It's fine. Nope. Mm-hmm. Totally. No, we're watching the most recent episodes of Paw Patrol. That happened. Number three. Trevor, the world's loneliest duck, is killed by dogs. I know, guys. I'm sorry. It's a sad one. But there's a duck. He got blown in by a storm, they think, from New Zealand onto this tiny island that's 1,500 miles northeast of New Zealand. It's this little island called... I'm going to say it wrong. Nui Nui. Nui. N-I-U-E. Nui. Nui. No disrespect to anyone that lives there. Just don't know how to say it. The duck gets famous. A year ago, it gets blown in by this storm. It's the only duck on the island. Like, at all. Just like walking around all the local birds. Hey, what's up? You guys know a good puddle around here? Hey, Nancy. How's it going this week? Okay, no, it's fine. Like your tail feathers. You do Do you? Sounds like he had the time of his life to me. But... Last week, some dogs attacked him and ate him. Somebody saw him in the bush. Well, I don't think they ate him, but he's dead. Rest in peace, Trevor. You were a cool duck. Okay, number two. Number two, a German World War I grenade is found in a shipment of potatoes. Guys, there's a grenade, it's like this. I understand how it was mistaken for a potato, but imagine being one of the workers that finds that. It got shipped from France to China to a potato chip factory. And they're like, oh, shit. This is not a potato. You imagine taking out the line like, hey, anybody? Any, is this anyone's? Anybody? No, anybody? Okay, great. So should I put in the lost and found? Definitely not a potato. I don't know why I'm voguing about potatoes. Go with it. That leads us to number one. Hold on to your seats. Number one. Bats invade a Spurs Nets game. The video is crazy, crazy. They're just playing, and then all of a sudden these bats start swooping in the court, like low. It's not like when a bird gets loose in a lows, and it's just up in the up in the rafters, you know, just keeping everyone company and just, no, it gets loose and it's flying and swooping low. Like it's about to like take some people's eyes out. The announcers are arguing about how many, there's three. No, Bob, there's four. Wait, I, I swear I saw five. No, there's four. There's only three, Bob. You never hear this um, on a sports channel or on during any sport. There's guano on the court. There's guano on the court. Guano is like bat excrement or seabird excrement, which is used for, <laughs> used for, um, why can't I think of the word? What's it called? When you put everything in the soil, fertilizer. There it is. Like poop. I'm just impressed the guy knew what guano meant because I definitely had to look it up. There's guano on the court. I would have been like, oh my God, tropical fruit. <laughs> Come on, Tracy, let's grab some. That'd have been me. But so a few minutes go by, like the guys get off the court, Paul Gasol and some other guys are like whipping and getting their towels ready. They're like, they're going to like, I don't know, whip the bats, but they're like, they call it in the bat catcher. And here comes freaking Tom up on the court. Like doo -doo 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 -doo. he looks like my pool guy. Guy's got a freaking net. And he just stands like at half court. Like you're not going to get the bats like that. The announcers are laughing at him like, um, I think we're going to need a bigger net, Tom. You're not cleaning leaves out of the apartment pool. Like, guy, guy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Tom, listen to Bob. Bob's got it together. He knows that you need a bigger net than that. And why was there just a bat catcher on call? Like, what? how did he just appear out of nowhere? That's why I think he was just a pool guy. The whole TV network is calling for... A bat catcher. Can we get a bat catcher? Who's Cindy? 
Cindy, you've got a bat catcher, right? You know a guy, right? Great. Get him here. Get him here. Get him in an Uber. Oh, he's, he's, oh my gosh, he's walking in. That's insane. How did he know? So either this guy planted the bats or he was just a pool guy they got from downstairs. Like, I, I don't know. Either way, makes a great number one for us. There's guano on the court. Mmm, tasty. I think I will. I think I will. Thank you. Well, guys, it's been real. Thank you for being here for another crazy week in the world. Whew. You're the best. You're awesome. I hope you've had a great week and it continues to be wonderful and that Mug Mondays makes your whole week better. And come back for more stuff next week and we'll talk about some crazy shit that's going on in the world. Love you, love ya. Mwah, mwah. Subscribe and tell your friends. See ya.